It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Philadelphia Eagles. All that and more coming up next. Well, the skies are clear, the sun is out, but don't be deceived. There's a big-time nip in the air on this crisp autumn day at Lincoln Financial Field. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the defending NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, what a season it was for these Eagles and these Philly fans last year. An 8 no start, 14-3 final record, two blowout wins in the NFC playoffs before coming up a bit short in Super Bowl 57. And a good thing for Philadelphia is they try and get back to the Super Bowl. Many of the key pieces they had last year are back. Remember, this is the number three offense in the league, number two defense, and they threw in a heck of an NFL draft. They expect to contend one more time. Meanwhile, for the visiting Dolphins, we know about the weapons on offense on the perimeter. But you think this is a team, Charles, that needs to step it up defensively to go to the next level? I do. And they have the pieces in place. They have excellent players. Perhaps the new system that's been brought in will give them that edge that they need in the AFC East. Jason Sanders now to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field on the return Boston Scott and just shutting him off there but a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line so here come the Eagles the defending NFC champs led out by a man who is the runner up to Patrick Mahomes an MVP balloting a season ago of course that's Jalen Hurts and we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback but last year, he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. And he's also one of the league's most dangerous players. Thrown for 38 touchdowns his last two seasons and run for another 23. To about the 33-yard line. But they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. From the 33, here's second and six. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. So the completion there, and CD, as we know, trying to defend against an NFL quarterback, that's one thing. Trying to defend against a mobile NFL quarterback, that's quite another. What's the plan here defensively? Well, the pass rush has to still try and get to him, especially the guys on the edge, but they're going to go maybe a, a, a count slower, right? They want to make sure they don't get too far upfield where he steps up and takes off through a lane. The same is true for those interior guys as well. So you've got to change it up with him. Try to keep him hemmed into the pocket. And occasionally, you throw a smile on him. A fast linebacker or one of your extra defensive backs who can dance with him a little bit if he takes off and runs. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. Throw is going to be incomplete. Go put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, How well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing his hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Hurts. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 16 to run fourth in the 
decision to go with picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Hurt's going to keep it running right. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Second down. Here's Hurts. That's complete right around the eight. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. He's got his target. That's for me. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Drive Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down in particular, not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to pick up those first downs. Now, here we are, first and goal. They've got to like what they're doing on this drive. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. They go option right on second and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. Solid finish to the opening drive. And look, when you get down around the goal line, you have to account for his legs. We saw it right there. Yeah, that's the added dimension to the offense, isn't it? Remember what the offensive line coach told us earlier this week? I told my guys, he's going to run it. We have to make sure he stays protected and give him an opportunity. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Dolphins set to go on offense for the first time behind their 25-year-old quarterback. Now in his fourth NFL season to a tongue of Iloa. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from it, it absolutely occurred. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. That's going to be caught downfield by Hill. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. It's early, but it now to cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second down, Tua. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Josh Schwab rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack 
heck of a game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Let's just call it as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set them back for second down. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you to the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. That second down play, that's a minus four. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. And allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss. On third and long, it's tug of Iloa. And he's going to go down here and sack. They push him back to the 34. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. So now make that a second sack for them on this drive. And Brandon, we hear it every week when we go out to do a game. Everyone talks about playing complimentary football. Their offense goes down and scores. They see that, and they want to back them up, and that they did, getting two sacks on this first drive. So fourth down, two of departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. Sanders' kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives, and they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nice run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. There incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Looking to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slam route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Now, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. Hurts. And his throw is incomplete. 
Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They run out of the gun with Swift. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Nice run and some new digs for Swift, the biggest name to be dealt during this year's draft. Had some tough times in three years with the Lions, but the good news for him, he's now in Philadelphia and knows exactly how to get the most out of a versatile runner. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And it's incomplete, but he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. You're trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. From the gun, it's Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 26. A third down gain of 19. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And this one complete. Now the ball comes loose. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. There's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. the gun here's Swift and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage he winds up giving a yard back there and now it's third and two sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot and there's just nowhere to go and in this case the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up Brown the lone receiver left out of the gun now on third down and that is incomplete so two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. They're going to go for it now, fourth and two. Remember, they can still get the first down at the one-yard line, though. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback. The ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So Miami coming out for their second drive. The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Jalen Waddle, a six-yard pickup, brings up second and four at their 48-yard line. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Looking to pass to him. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll get about five here, so he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second and five. Two are going to throw. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Defensively going forward, they're going to have to watch out for him on place just like that. It's a drag route across the field, and they're trying to free him up and let him run after the catch. That won't be the last time we see that play, and it works there to pick up a first down. Here's Mostert. He's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. After one, a 14-3 ball game. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. Second and goal from the one. As they've got it as we resume action. Again, it's Mostert. And this time, he'll score. Touchdown, Miami. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal. But we all know field goals aren't going to cut in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here. And they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And he 
he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. But well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Now second and seven from the 23. Here's Hertz to throw. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let it just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. The Eagles on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. They go play action with Hertz. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big gain of 31 on third down. But my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Which was on infraction defense. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Tackle that time by Jerome Baker out of Ohio State. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. But one thing we know about RPO throws, they don't take long to develop. He had him wide open to the outside, hit him with it, but I think his eyes were looking downfield trying to see that open grass, ends up dropping it. That's a missed opportunity. They'll try and pick it up by one of the action to the right. Burns fumbles it, and that one never got off the ground. He's going to be stopped up well behind the line of scrimmage. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they wind up getting the yards they needed on fourth and three. What a time for his first catch as they get the conversion on fourth. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. 
the option left, it's Hurts. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. A nice stick and stop for a loss here from Jalen Phillips. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Hurts sets up to throw it. Flush to it. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Sacked by Andrew Van Ginkel. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles. Tough spot here. Third and long. They'll set up a throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot him. Speedster Raheem Mostert in the rest of this offense out to start the drive. So a six-carry drive, the last go-around touchdown on the end of it. We'll see if they can duplicate that here. I think that they would like to. I know every runner that we've ever met would love to carry the ball. More and more and more. In fact, we keep the ball in the booth just for demonstration purposes. You're holding it right now. I'm going to give it to you. Is it, is it heavy? Is it that heavy? No, it's pretty light. It's pretty light, right? So keep giving it to him and let him do his work. It's not going to slow him down. If it's light for me, it's definitely light for him. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Zach Cunningham coming in for that outside linebacker spot and he buries him for a loss of seven. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Zach Cunningham on the tackle. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 50-yard line. Now a second and six. From midfield, here's Tua. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. Over 70 yards receiving now for him in his first half alone as he's got a first down on that last catch. And the Dolphin first down. Now Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. At the 35-yard line. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try and run here with Moster. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. 
There's so many things going to making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And I think the ball's out. And this one's going to go out of bounds. So no recovery, but on fourth down, a change of possession anyway. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of <laughs> relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw trying to get one downfield. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. A handoff running left is Mostert. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 21. 56 yards rushing for him now to this point. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. On right, third down, here comes Mostert. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A good chunk of those yards came after contact, and that's an area where he's really starting to excel as a running back. It felt like he was doing a drill that running backs have to perform all the time, especially in pads, called a gauntlet drill. Two guys, you know, people with this, these two rows, and you have to go right through the middle of them and make sure you take care of the football and knock people aside. He's performing the drill on that run. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Can't really fault the coverage. The ball was tipped and popped up in the air, but they were unable to complete the tip drill for the interception. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. From the gut, it's Tua. Caught. Touchdown Miami. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him. Because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Sanders now to add the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyree Kill. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. 
And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. It'd be hard to say that the defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against the defense, it's really kind of geared to stop that play. Your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Man on the left side is Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. This short throw caught by Goddard. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield, or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. Here's second and seven. On the option to give to Swift here. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. The offense on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard. It's a game of five on third and four. And that one was a lot of fun right there, because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first and ten, it's Swift. Inside the try before he's brought down. 45 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. He'll look to throw. Swift, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Eagles have regained the lead. Well, we know he can run the ball there. He 
shows he has the ability to do a little bit more. That's what you call a complete player. A guy who can run it, catch it, probably can protect the passer when necessary, but his skills are best used when you get the ball in his hands. And that's the thing. When you've got an athlete like that, you want to get the ball to him in multiple ways, right? Without a doubt, because he often creates mismatches about who can cover him, whether he's coming out of the backfield or even lining up like a receiver. Elliott good with a PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Mario's deciding not to bring it out. Now we get Tyreek Hill and the rest of the Miami offense back out there. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They're trying to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featuring receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Tua. It'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to bring up second down. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. And incomplete. You still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket. You're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Going to the air, Tug of Iloa. This will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Looks like this will be the drive they come up empty after a couple of touchdowns and a field goal on those first three drives. Yeah, but she had no tears for them, okay? So they come up empty on one, but as you noted, they put plenty of points on the board. They don't look close to being done in this one. A lot of adjustments still needing to be made on the defensive side of the field. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. DeAndre Swift and the Eagles back out there. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because any time you have a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, he really did some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a tick under a minute to go before half. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches. 
pitchers left. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. Here's Hertz to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. Second down, here's Hertz. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they have a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Elliott on for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. A drive that time of six plays, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Eagles got a solid first half from last year's MVP runner-up, Jalen Hurts. He threw two touchdown passes, and he ran for two more. He did it all. This guy's putting the points in bunches. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. Take it in at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. 
I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start coming back, they've got to start putting more pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Two are going to throw. And this will be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Won't they have any designs on getting back into this football game in the second half? They're going to need to be much stronger offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fielded just inside the 30. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Wide receiver A.J. Brown. You see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on him. And he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else for the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. Throwing his hurts. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Play action. Here's Hurts. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. That'll bring up second down. Sets up to throw it. Completes to Zacchaeus. They need 18 yards here on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. That time, Bradley Chubb shooting in there for the sack. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations. Hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five.
Play action. Now it's Tua. Throw left side taken in by Hill. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Eagles' 47-yard line. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and four. Looking to pass to him. And a little floater there is incomplete. He's still holding back the ball when Tua gets out of the pocket. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Tua. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. Incomplete. So many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out and check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Chugamailoa. This one left side caught by Marios. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. Tua sets up to pass it. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. From the gun, a run with Mostert. James Bradbury there to make the tackle. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's second and five now from the 22. Once again, it's Mostert. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Now a second and ten. Here's Tua. To the back of the end zone with two high. Over everybody and incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force 
anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Tua. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Raheem Mostert. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Dolphins have got it back to within a score. And that's another route that defenders would vote to take out of the game. A wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hated there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. The two are going to try and throw for it. Buying time to his left. And he'll get in for the two points. So that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there. And he is just one reception away from 10 in this game. I, I don't know what they need to do defensively, but something has to be altered, does it not? I know that whenever we try to tell the person who's having a game like this, we try to vary the trajectory, try to change things up over the field occasionally, and not for the quarterback, so maybe they don't read the coverage correctly. Right now, though, they're in pretty good sync. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a game of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Here's Hurts to throw. complete on the diving effort. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that way. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. The tight end. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. A gain of two brings us second and eight at the 17 yard line.
They'll look to throw again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. Back-to-back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. A 34-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. Well, they certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. Just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. Up the middle they go with Moster. And very little room to maneuver. They'll get this down to about the 39. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Tug of Iloa to throw on second down here. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I'm sure that pass was incomplete. They made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Bailoa. It's a first down. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. Off of play action, Tonga Bailoa. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga by Loa. Open man downfield is Ronald. He's got it. 
And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They hand it off to Mostert. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, second down. So where did all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's dried up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Got They'll go for two. Hertz will throw. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So a big play there. Not only the fumble return for the touchdown, then they get the two-point try. And you know, for the defense, though, they were just over there sitting on the field. They had to rush out to try to defend that. You know, it's funny. They actually practice situations that they call sudden change when the team turns it over. I guarantee you no one practices a fumble return for a touchdown like that, and now someone goes for two. Really good strategy by them putting them in that situation. possession really a gut punch you seemingly had it working you were in the midst of a very strong drive then suddenly the fumble and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction there's not much more i can add to that i thought you summarized it perfectly partner you've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together that's all you can do so here's a first and 10 at the 38 Two are going to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. We put that one in the red column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Looking to pass. Tua. Pressure too much this time. Down he goes. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Nice, smart enough to avoid the Taunton rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big 
shot that you were trying to succeed with. Got the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the 27. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They'll start with the option. This is sort of what you would call the cutaway drive, is it? And they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as he'll get this up to midfield. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing his hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They have the nice cushion. They just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Swift going to try up the middle. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot, because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Elliott Good on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 and out come the Dolphins now well this game it has had no shortage of offense they've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side Charles they just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here 
Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up to team that's playing at an elite level. Second and 11. Tua sets up to pass it. Open man downfield is Hill. Down the left sideline. And all the way in and for the Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead will be cut down to 14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Bradley Chubb came in and got him. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he's able to get up here to the 26. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Kudos for the defense for me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. Hurt sets up to throw it. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down and a 13-yard run. That is an absolute backbreaker. That's a time passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. That really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. They go play action with Hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And they're able to work this to the 20 feet before it's all said and done. Last play, they didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they gain almost 40 yards here. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. Play action. Here's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Calling a gain of six on the play. And that'll 
bring up second down. Back to the running game with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Hurts. Bradley Chubb able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. To the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. They had tackled at the 21 yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Dolphins' offense now working their way back onto the field. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Tua. And he comes back with one complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Here's Tua. Right to the right sideline. And the foul is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down. It's a gain of seven on fourth and four. No reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he went nowhere. He went backwards. Back to the 33. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Going to the air. Tongue of Iloa. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hill. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. 
Throwing now is Chugabailoa. And that is incomplete. Well, he's two hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game. That time, unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Well, they clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and eight. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. This was boxing. You think maybe they would have thought about stopping this one because this defense has been bruised, it's been battered, but this is why they keep the fight going, right? They just got done with a really nice play, showing that they still got a little bit left, don't they? Haven't had many plays that they can clip, put in the film room and smile about, but hey, there's one. Clip and save. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. Missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Dolphins offense returning to the field. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Two and now on first down. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 26-yard line. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Back to throw here. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. This one left side caught by Barrios. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it's second down. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. There's a throw to the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. It's a gain of six. And the Dolphin first down. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Two are going to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ballgame. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. 
Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 33. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Two and now on first down. I think this is what this game's become now. You just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Looking to pass. Tua. It's Hill. Complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 18. His big day receiving just keeps getting bigger. He's over 200 yards now in the afternoon. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. Get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throw to the right, taken in by Barrios. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's got a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Tua sets up to pass it. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown! Tyreek Hill, a five-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins get a bit closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look Jason at Sanders. to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. 
I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and eight. They'll fake it there on the jet sweep, but instead, he'll slip. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. defending a return here that one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14 yard line so Tua and the Dolphins down by 10 less than 90 seconds to go they'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery but first things first first and 10 when you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now second and four. Throwing to a... He's got to complete to water. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing over. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Eagles are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road. But there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room. Throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And part of no idea what the top speed is. All uh, those high-end sports cars, what's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one.